What's up, YouTube? CJD here from Chris's Junkyard Designs. Uh, I figured I'd do a quick video. I haven't done one in a few days. Um, been really busy up at the cabin. Should have the whole outside of it done, hopefully, by tomorrow. If the weather holds out, today was a washout here. Um, they're saying showers tomorrow. I'm going to hopefully get it done. We'll see. Between that and everything else, regular work and all that, I've just been super busy. Um, but I did manage, there was a piece of furniture here that I got rid of. Um, an old piano or something that was down here that we didn't need anymore, so I finally got rid of that. And um, I made a new work area, so I have a bigger, larger, more permanent work area. Before it was like a portable one where I just set up this card table, slapped it together, and that's where I did my videos. You know, take it all apart again. and Just like that, so... Figured to give you guys a quick little tour of this area. It's not done yet. I've been working on it when I can here and there. Uh, it's a lot of work to get this whole area cleaned up, all the junk out of here, and all that good stuff. So uh, I'll show you first this I made. Um, this is going to be like my filming box. I think the cars are going to look better in here. So I bought this foam board that was in Lowe's. Lowe's. I had to get a chain for my driveway gates that are up. Um, and I noticed this board here where the mailbox is everything were. They use it for outdoor signs is basically what it is. And I grabbed a couple sheets of it because my Walmart didn't have any regular little foam board and all that. And this is really rigid. It works really good. So I kind of like it. Um, comes in big sheets. Um, I'll show you a big sheet in a second. And, um, so I cut it up and made this little box. So when I zoom in and film right here, this will all be white. And I think the car will stand out a lot better and it will focus a lot better. We'll find out when I do my first one. So just basically glued strips and made this little box for filming. So we'll see what happens, see how it looks when I do my first video. Um, unboxings, I'll just do like this in the open. And then when we do the... Um, recent crack videos and stuff like that we zoom in and challenges I'll use this setup right here um, so the other thing I posted a picture on Instagram was this new let me get this up here I want to just hold this whole camera stand if I can without screwing this up hold on okay is this new sticker board so that's the size of that sheet right there I think it's four I forgot what the hell size it was. Two by four or three by four or something, I don't know. But it's a pretty big sheet. Um, I don't have everybody's channel sticker on there they've given me. These were old duplicates. Or ones I started saving once I knew I wanted to do a board. In the beginning I didn't care about a board. So everybody else's stickers or other stickers I got are on this work mat. This is my work mat when I build my customs. So if you don't see your sticker up there, it's here. So like Kudus, I don't have another one. Liver Diecast, I don't have another one. Um, Andre Cruz, I don't think I have another one. I don't see him here though. I know I have stickers for him. Huh. I wonder where I put those. I must be in another bag. So I might, I should have an Andre Cruz sticker I gotta put up here. I might have threw him in another bag when I got him. I gotta get more organized down here, but I'll show you. This is the table. There's my drink I'm drinking. But for now, I just got this stupid lamp here for now. But I'm, I got a new desk lamp that I'm gonna order tomorrow at Amazon. It was 60 bucks, it's down to 20. So I'm gonna order that and grab that. But this is a six foot table now to work on. Do my customs, my shows. Uh, all these cases of cars underneath here. That's just one part of the cars I have. It's like double that amount of cases all throughout the area. Throughout the house. This is a little bookend that I redid. Put my diorama for gas lands there. This little matchbox gas station set up. Um, got all the bigger cars in there. Like the Johnny Lightnings and the... Jada muscle cars are in the back there. You can't really see too good. I don't have good lighting over here yet. And then up here is my customs and work and stuff like that. My cases I just threw up there. Um, 
got this picture I put up. Got the Hot Wheels picture. This isn't a window behind it. This is an air conditioner. It really doesn't work anymore. It's a big old energy sucking air conditioner. So I just threw a curtain over it. And um, yeah, so I still have a lot of work to do. I want to get some more stuff done, but it's I got to get all the tools and the, and the bench organized so it's at hand. I have some bins over here, but they're kind of a pain in the butt out of the way. So I got to work on that. But for a day or so, this is what I got done. So excited to have a nice new work area. Maybe do some better videos. We'll see once I get set up. Um, yeah. So that's basically all I wanted to show you guys. Um, yeah, it's just set up here. I have cars. I want to do a recent cracks video, but I'm not gonna have time tonight. It's getting late. I still have a lot of laundry and I have to do and crap like that. So tomorrow, hopefully, I can do a recent cracks video with a bunch of cars I opened and go through that. You know what? I'm gonna show you something else, guys, while I'm here, real quick, because I keep forgetting to take pictures of it on Instagram. So I found this from Jesse's Diecast Garage. He put pictures on Instagram on it and i've been wanting to show it and it's this pony cars stamp set i think it was a little overpriced but comes in this portfolio and all this info i wonder if i can back this out no i can't i have to back up a little bit and uh yeah it opens up you get this first day issue stamps and then it came with the sheet of the stamps that just came out. It's four different ones, I believe. Or five different ones. Might be five. Um, there's a Mustang Boss. Chevy Camaro. There's a Javelin, I believe. Yep, Javelin. 70 Dodge Challenger. And it was a Cougar. Yep, there's a Mercury Cougar. I think it's five. Five different stamps. And you get 20 of these. So I saw it on there and I thought it was really cool. Um, it's like 25 bucks with shipping for the whole thing. So I don't really think it was worth it. I should have just ordered the stamps and just got them. But gives you a whole bunch of info. This portfolio. So I mean, it's pretty cool. Some sketches I guess they did to get the stamps. It gives you a bunch more info. And then this stuff just goes in here. I mean, they have pictures you can buy and all this other nonsense and stuff. But I thought this was really cool. So, I just wanted to show that. I keep forgetting to do it in a video. And I think that's it, guys. Yeah, that's all that came with that. So, if you go on the... USPS website, if you're interested in them, they're on there. Go under stamps and collectors, I think. I think that's what it is. Um, yeah, so, hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. A little tour of my uh, new work area. Mm, got a lot of organizing to do. I have a lot of tools, a lot of stuff. Maybe I'll go through that someday, too. I want to get bins maybe set up in the back here. All along the wall little drawers and stuff like that to figure it out what I want to do but yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, thanks again for all the comments and the likes take care and have a great night